Welcome to the Wanderer 4 tent use uh, video. So I'm just going to show you, demonstrate some features about the tent that uh, you can understand so you can better use your tent uh, properly and make sure you have a comfortable night's sleep. So I'm just walking around the tent. This side is the vestibule. I'm going to show you how you can use the vestibule from the outside. Lots of people do this. This area here to the outside is sort of covered and um, it's not in the tent and it gives you a, a spot though to keep things uh, dry and uh, away from uh, moisture, especially if it rains, but also for dew. Uh, a lot of times at night we get a lot of dew. So the right side here has a zipper and uh, I'll kind of turn my head down so you can see as I zip this up, I hold the flap back and I pull the Velcro back and you can see clearly into this area and I'll turn my head around and so you can see quite a bit of space here you can easily put a pack um, maybe also your shoes and clothes and stuff can be in here I highly recommend putting them in a dry bag as well one of the things you can do as well is you can roll this up this piece can be rolled up in order to get it out of the way in case you wanted to leave this portion of the vestibule open to allow air to move through the tent if it was a hot night once I get down to the end here after rolling it up you'll notice that there's a little toggle and a little uh, elasticized cord on the other side if you bring this around it'll hold the tent uh, flap out of the way and it'll leave it like that for the evening quite comfortably and you'll see these little toggles and spots all around the tent and they're very useful I won't uh, use all of them but I wanted to demonstrate that and again very easy to flip it back roll the tent down holding it the fly or the fly down here and then just folding this back over to keep the moisture out you can also do the same with this piece here. There's a toggle there. And again, on this side over here, if you wanted to completely remove this portion of the uh, vestibule from the tent. So it's an option that exists for you. I'm gonna now come around to the side with the open door. Well, this is, tends to be where we go in and out of the tent most commonly. And to access the, or get in the tent, usually you can go from one side to the other and you have the option to zip the zipper around the top as well as the bottom before getting in the tent. So here I go, I'm gonna zip here, I'm tipping my head down, hopefully you can see as I grab the zipper and I pull it up to about halfway. At this point, I then grab the zipper on the bottom, make sure that this uh, piece of material is out of the way and pull it back probably all the way and this allows the door to fold right in. You can usually do this on both sides but if you do you have to make sure you pull all the zippers across here. If there's one zipper that's left there it'll keep the door attached so you can do it on both sides. To get in the tent now what I do is I turn around and I usually put my butt into the tent and I look out what a nice view I have here and at this point before entering the tent I'll close take off my shoes. Um, if I'm not going to put them on the vestibule on the other side, I'm going to probably tuck them over to the side here just to get them out from under the cover. That's usually enough to keep the dew off of them, but uh, if I really want to keep them surely dry, I'll put them in the vestibule side. I generally don't bring my shoes into the tent. I'm trying to keep the dirt and uh, all the bad things out of the tent. And at this point, I'm now going to come inside the tent and close the door. I probably sometimes will be doing this really rapidly uh, as I'm trying to avoid bringing any bugs into my tent and I'll get my bottom zipper across as well. Very important and at this point I'm sealed nicely into the tent. What you'll notice is that there are four nice pockets, one over there, one over here and of course another one there and one behind me. I put the bag for the tent in here along with all the other bags inside it. So including the tent peg bag, the pole bag, as well as the bag for the footprint. A couple things you should note is that if you're on a hot night and it can get really hot in a tent sometimes or during the day, but you don't want the bugs in, you have the option of removing the doors and just going with a screen. This zipper here on the inside allows me to just open the, uh, the door part without the screen. I'm not gonna be able to get out of the tent, but I am going to be able to see out, as now I have a, a, nice, a nice screen, sort of like opening your window at home and having a screen behind it. I don't want this flap lying here, 
So they conveniently create a couple of toggles, one, two, three. And so again, I would roll up, gently roll up my door here. And it doesn't take too much work to do this. So you can see me rolling it, kind of pulling it out to the sides. And away I go. And when I get to the toggle, I reach underneath, I find that little strap or elasticized cord and put it around the toggle. My fingers are out of the way. I can do that also here on these sides as well if I want to keep it out of the way for some time. One might work, but there are three there as an option. Okay. On the other side, the same thing happens. It's a little bit different, which you'll notice here on this side is that instead of a toggle, they have actually snaps, okay? There's a snap here and there's a snap to, uh, this would be the female end and the male end is there, same here and there. It allows you to put that whole door right into the uh, enclosure there and away you go. Pretty slick. Uh, one last thing or one more thing that is nice to know about your tent is that typically there is a little hook at the top up here, it's great to hang a little lantern, a headlamp or something else. There's a couple other at the corner it's here in case there's something other people want to hang. And uh, it can be very useful to uh, keep something uh, in a handy spot if you wake up in the night and you want to be able to access it to have just a little piece of a shoelace even just to hang something. Maybe your flashlight you can hang up there or uh, some other uh, item that you want to have handy. Some people even go as far as hanging their their water bottle on that hook. It might get a little heavy. Uh, otherwise, most of the time I usually tuck them in the corner or in one of these uh, flaps on the tent. And remember the tent is not what's keeping you dry. It's the fly that's on the outer side that is gonna do that for you. Well, hopefully this uh, is a good lesson and you uh, learned what you need to do to utilize your tent and your doors properly.